Hey, many fish. It's the 24th of November, 2018. And I have no idea how I'm going to present this to you. I really don't. But I will link everything I possibly can. And I hope that you see that there is most definitely things being spoken through what I'm showing you here, okay? And as usual, it starts like with these crazy articles, okay? Trump played so little golf last month that he tied Obama, okay? That's the little jab they put, you know, Washington Post. But at the same time, I was uh, looking around here. I see another article, and you're going to have to bear with me, uh, about a little rock team who cooked for the president and started her own company, Obama. Okay, these are all brand new articles in Little Rock. And the reason that that struck me was because I was just looking at this other article about this Little Rock that they found in Jerusalem. It is a temple weight known as a Becca measure. Okay, and you can find this in your King James, B-E-K-A-H. You're going to want to use the H, okay? On the 21st, that came out. Right? It's talking about this little rock, this little stone. And I'm reading along, okay, like I, I just love this stuff, you know. But I see here that, that a biblical shekel was 11.33 grams. I mean, think about that. But the 11s, I mean, it, the 11 thing is off the charts. So there's 11, 11, 11, 11. But a half shekel, okay, would be half of that. And that equates to, <laughs> it's crazy. 5.665 grams, which is 11, 11, okay? So these things are just adding up and adding up and adding up. And I'm, I'm looking around, and you remember the other day, I think most of you probably saw the video that I did about 11.22 and the lions, okay? Oh, the lions play a big part in this, you know? This rare lion that I talked about in that is now uh, potentially being saved. The lion may be saved, okay, by a mystery donor. And this was the last I see about the lion on uh, November 21st, uh, 116 in the afternoon, the same time that this came out, okay? Like literally at the same time. Just very strange. And so I'm looking at the little rock. I see the... the Obama uh, article about the Little Rock Girl, and this just comes into my mind about between Trump and Obama, and, and a lot of you will probably remember this, okay, but back in 2011, all right, this is crazy, this is crazy, oh, and one more thing I want to show you, when I was showing you about the 1122 and the Lions the other day, I had no idea about what was coming out. I made this on the 20th, but on the 22nd, this this trailer came out. The new Lion King official trailer on November 22nd. Is that not crazy, man? And you have to watch this. I'm not going to play it because it'll probably block my video if I do. But you have to watch this because in this, this Obama um, correspondence dinner in 2011, the same year that he uh, did the Psalm 46 at 9-11 uh, on April 30th. Okay, just think about this. He made this speech about the birth certificate. Now, just bear with it. Bear with me just for a minute here while you listen to him. It is wonderful to be here at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. As some of you heard, uh, the state of Hawaii released my official long-form birth certificate. That's Donald Trump, by the way, in the audience. Hopefully, that this puts all doubts to rest. But just in case there are any lingering questions, tonight I'm prepared to go a step further. <laughs> tonight, for the first time, I am releasing my official birth video. You see, it's all a big joke, even to this very day. 
But Trump doesn't look happy. And remember, Trump is the one who called him out on the birth certificate. And after that, Sheriff Joe Arpaio out of Maricopa County, Arizona, and his team proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that Obama's birth certificate, the one he's talking about right here, was a flat-out fake forgery and a lie. Proved it. But, you know, that doesn't matter. Trump doesn't look too happy. No. And also, remember, Trump pardoned the turkeys the other day? Well, he also pardoned Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Interesting. I warn you, no one has seen this footage in 50 years. Not even me. But uh, let's take a look. Alright, I won't torture you guys, but he shows the Lion King. Okay? Ha ha ha. August 4th, 1961. There's your 69, your 911s. And I've never seen this before, but he puts a time on there. 724 p.m. And it just came upon me to stick that in the old concordance. In the Greek. And it, it means pillage, extortion, ravening, and spoiling. Okay? That fits Obama, right? But look at the base word it's from. Harpazo, to seize, catch away. Pretty interesting, huh? So he's doing the Lion King thing, and then on this very, very Thanksgiving day, 1122, the new Lion King trailer comes out. I wish I could play this for you guys, but... So, uh, this is how it works for me, and, you know, the whole Obama-Trump thing... I'm just I'm trying to piece this together, and I remembered that coming up next week, right, uh, on the 6th, it will be one year since Trump announced Jerusalem, the capital of Israel, which was a very big deal. Prophetic. Look what time it, he did it. 11.09 he did this, this announcement, right? But anyways, December 6th, which happens to fall right smack dab in the middle of what the the Jews, the Orthodox Jews, are, you know, observing Hanukkah between the 3rd and the 10th. The 6th falls right in the middle, right in the midst, okay? So I take that between uh, this April 30th, 2011, and December 6th, 2018, and I get 2,777 days. Now, first of all, I don't even know what caused me to enter this in. These are the kind of things that I'm just kind of moved to do. You know, why did I even do that? But I don't question it. I just do it. Okay? But this is very interesting that it's 2777. And, you know, we can look at all the other numbers. You know, Obama's birth year, 1961. That happens to be, the, there it is, right there. Even the weeks, 396. That's crazy. 666 hours. All these crazy numbers. But what comes into my head is the next day it just does okay and the reason that comes into my mind is because of this article <laughs> i can't help it guys about this young man who gave his life to spread the gospel to one of the probably last places that the world has not reached now you need to think about that how profound that is that he was he he gave his life to bring the gospel to the ends of the earth. <laughs> and his name was John Allen Chow. Okay? Now, if you define that out, it literally spells out, Yahweh has given a rock, a pearl. Chow is Vietnamese. It means pearl. Allen, which you can spell multiple ways, is a rock or a little rock. It can also mean one with creation. So, Yahweh has given a little rock a pearl. And when I see the pearl, it reminds me of Trump's speech again. And the reason it does is because the very next day is Pearl Harbor Day, December 7th. Which, man, I could make an hour-long video going through the details of how all the presidents have visited and all these crazy rituals and the times that they do these things. It's insane. But look at that. 
I mean, that's crazy to the 6th. But you go to the 7th, even more than the 2,777 days. This is far, this has much more weight. Seven years, seven months, and seven days. It truly does. Everything else stays pretty much the same. But that really struck me. So, I mean, I have to share this stuff with you. So, this will all be coming, you know, in the middle of Hanukkah. The Feast of Dedication. The Little Rock. The Little Rock that they found from the temple. How the, the new mayor has been told to prepare for the third temple. And his name is Lion. Moshe Lion, no less. Okay? And we have the lions, the rare lion, that now is going to be saved by a mystery donor. All these things are just culminating together and coming so close and so fast that I, I just have to put it out and pray that it gives someone some understanding and that you know that we can't know the mind of God, but he shares with us what we can you know, handle, basically, because we're seeking the truth and we're in Christ. He reveals these things to us and gives us unspeakable comfort. But you need to know him. You need to walk with him. You need to walk in truth. You know, the seeking of the truth humbly comes first. If you don't know Christ, then you don't know truth because he is truth. So hopefully you are seeking the truth with the understanding that you cannot figure this out with your mortal mind, okay? The only thing t that you can be assured of in this world of darkness is death. And Christ came to give you light and life and truth. So seek him above all things. And so that is something I had to show you guys. And I'm going to link a whole bunch of links because it's crazy. And hopefully you guys can dig into this stuff and, and you know, bring some light on it. And let, I almost forgot this. We can't forget that they put Trump on a temple shekel. Okay? Think about this. I mean, this is crazy. They put Trump on a temple shekel. And they just found the, sh the shekel, the half shekel Becca measure, the little rock, the little stone. <laughs> unbelievable the little rock and the pearl pearl harbor oh man you guys i hope this makes sense to one person and praise god <laughs> so i had to share with you guys though okay so love y'all peace and grace to you many fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 